Look what's in Cheesy's garage today, boys. It's a Robofinity Insight Drive. It's actually an AI-powered safety innovation device for driving. An easy five-minute installation. I'm going to put it in my Jeep. So it comes with the main unit, an AI module, front infrared camera, the cabling, some magnetic mounting, the adapter, the cabling to the AI monitor, screwdriver, sticky pads, Velcro sticky pads, and some other hardware. And a 32 gigabyte SD card is included. So let's do a bench test before we hook it all up. Let's put this 32 gigabyte card in the unit. So the stand is a magnetic mount here. That will go on the back there. Take off the protective plastic first. So this comes with 10 feet of cable that runs to the camera. So let's plug this in. Let's see how it works. Pretty quick boot up time. Seems to work. Camera itself mounts on the rear part of your hood. It's got a nice rubber clamp so it doesn't damage your paint. And it has three little Torx set screws. Now on a magnet base, of course, you can tilt it or adjust it how you want. The base that gets put down with the sticky pad, there's a screw at the bottom that you can loosen up so it'll swivel as loose or as tight as you want. So you definitely want to do that before you stick it down. You want it snug enough where you can just, just about move it, but not so loose that it'll just keep flipping around, of course. The way it came was pretty tight, so you definitely gonna wanna adjust that before you stick that down on your dash. It does also come with a cool little pull rod here. The mounting area on a Jeep is pretty high, so after I do the initial installation, I think I'm gonna end up mounting this, if it has enough cable, to the front. If you're doing a Wrangler installation, just beware, you cannot flip it all the way up or it'll snap that camera. Another reason why I think I'm going to end up hooking it on the front of the Jeep. I'm going to use that fancy pull stick to pull my wire through. And close your lid and make sure the wires don't pinch. No pinching. And you can put your rubber protector on there. Looks like Kenny from South Park. Probably gonna have to go forward a little bit. Maybe like that. We'll adjust it once we get it powered up. But that's pretty much what it's gonna look like on your car. I may make a bracket off of this so it's up front, but you guys do as you wish. The cable that runs from the power back to the AI unit is six feet and it's the same to the monitor. So for my installation, I'm gonna run it up and sit the box in the glove compartment for now. After everything works good and I move that front camera, I'll probably end up putting it behind the dash here somewhere. Once you get this cable snake through where you want, you put this little holder on there so it can be screwed into the AI box so it won't fall out or get pulled out on accident. Just like that. And then we'll plug it in and tighten those up. Sorry ducks, you gotta come out of there. There's a big pocket behind this speaker. I stuck it in there. So I don't have it sitting in my glove compartment. We're all wired up. All the wires are tucked away. I'm plugged into my accessory socket. Let's see what it does. That is the boot up time. And it looks like it's showing a lot of my hood. Let me adjust that up a little more. I guess that's not too bad. Don't forget I got a lifted Jeep. Once we're on the road, maybe it'll be okay. We'll give it a shot. If not, 
I plan on moving the camera to the front anyway by the grill. So touch screen, you have mute or speaker on. That's if it's raining, on rain, off. That's a stop the recording or start it. This is playback. And then you have your settings. That's what's in the settings section. First we'll connect to the Wi-Fi of the unit, which is that. Then we'll open up the app, Insight Drive AI. So the date automatically sets apparently. Settings, AI detection switch is on. Collision warning settings, you can raise or lower the car and truck and feet, how far away, and pedestrians also. And then in general, you have your language, which is system dependent. And then you have your help and the version I have now. And that's about it for the app right now. They're going to be doing some updates, of course. So as of now, you can't download or record through the app. But I'm sure they're going to do some upgrades on this app. It does get some false alerts. Must be something that it thinks is the size of a car. The pedestrian will show up red. Showing them at 37 meters. 27 meters, yeah. See, it's picking up the human. Yeah. This is parking in the garage. This is in the rain, too. Yeah, see, so you pick up the person there. I could get the guy across the street too. Oh, someone's running across. There it is. parking lot. That's what it looks like when you're driving on a highway. I'm going to test this out in pitch darkness and see how it looks. We'll even turn the headlights off. Ready? You can drive in total darkness and still see. My running lights are still on here. I gotta figure out how to shut those off. There. Now my daytime running lights are off. There's absolutely no lights. As you can see. It's like Night Rider. I 
this is where this unit really shines. Some big puddles here. Now I can't see anything at all. Now it's all through the AI box. That's crazy. So this unit really shines when it's total darkness and you can't see what's ahead of you because it'll pick up what your eyes cannot see. I see them dogs over on the left. Try some lights off again. See if we can find my driveway. I don't recommend driving with no headlights. This is pretty darn cool. So if you're interested in one of these, I'll put the links below. Right now it's in campaign mode. So if you're looking for some cutting edge technology to have in your car, when visibility is poor and you want some notifications of people, animals, or cars that pop up in front of you while you're driving, this Robofinity might be for you. It's in the campaign stage, so there's going to be a lot more updates. You can register for one now. It'll be available for public release very soon. I think it's a pretty cool unit. It has a few flaws since it's in its testing stage. I thank them for sending me one of these units for test. It's definitely useful in poor visibility conditions. I'll have the links down below. And as usual, thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.